Uh, one of the key message uh, I have spe specifically on that is that um, starting a collaboration or a partnership with a CMO is, is, is a two ways long term relationship. Uh, and so um, it's important to always have in mind and understand why you want to go and why you have to go outside of your company and why you really want to work with uh, these or the CMOs. Um, it should be at the end, you know, something complementary. And so you should be looking for something that maybe you don't have inside uh, of your company to um, uh, be sure that the CMO will complement the capabilities that you are seeking for in, in going on site. So I think the why piece of that is, is pretty important. Uh, and then we have insisted as well, you know, on this long term relationship element. Um, it's, um, it's something pretty important if you want to sustain success over uh, the long run, um, I think. And uh, in being successful in doing that, uh, I think we highlighted yesterday as well that it's important to invest time at the very beginning of a relationship or a collaboration to uh, get to know each other um, and to go to the right level of granularity in terms of what uh, a potential new CMOs can bring to your company. One of my key takeaways on that is, um, and yesterday I used you know, this image of uh, getting married. I think that if you want to get married uh, and be sure that it's going to last you know, for a long period of time, you need to maybe think about what is going to lead you potentially to a divorce, so to speak. Uh, and I would say same, you know, when having to start a discussion about you know, what should be into a contract, I mean, you should already anticipate what could, be, what could go wrong uh, and what could go well, but both are important because at the end of the day, you should translate, you know, both of, you know, what could potentially uh, happen in terms of, you know, and if so, what if we are such in situation, you know, uh, what will we be doing together in order to overcome the problem? I think that's a key, uh, a key, a key element. And sometimes uh, we do not spend enough time, to my opinion, on that. We only focus on, you know, what is the basic standard way of doing a contract, uh, which is pricing, lead times, and uh, name it. Um, but we do not often spend enough time going to the right granularity to really understand, you know, what this term would mean. And in case of a problem, you know, uh, would that help uh, in us, you know, working together to overcome uh, what could be potentially impacting both parties. Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe my answer will be, uh, you know, in two folds. Y yes, of course, so conflicts might happen. You know, we know life is not perfect. It's not ideal and it's, it's, it's business. And sometimes, you know, challenge uh, happens. Um, uh, a few, uh, an example I have in my mind where we had to face uh, what we call the conflict uh, was because, you know, what was written to the contract was understood in a totally different way by both parties and in, in such cases and to rebound to what I just said just before in fact it's really important that you know if we want to avoid that that we are sure at the very beginning before putting your names you know on, on the bottom of the contract that we really are sure that you really really understand you know all of that the same way and um, so that's 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 the first element of my answer uh, the second I think it's uh, and about strategies on how to overcome you know such a kind of conflict or how to anticipate and to capture the signals of uh, potential conflicts coming um, is to be sure that you have uh, the right uh, structuring governance in place to entertain the collaboration all along the way. Uh, and that on a daily basis, so to speak, uh, you know where to go with, um, uh, to see where you are in terms of uh, performance from your CMO in their ability to supply the product to you or in terms of quality, etc. And so that's that's really deserves um, a governance, a structure, and people to be dedicated to that, uh, to not be caught by surprise, so to speak. Um, so I think it helps a lot. And even when the, 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 the conflict is there, uh, then you have a person, you know, who is really knowledgeable about the problem and that could really help in a very fast way to overcome uh, and to help both parties to fix issues. It's about, again, it's, it's about common sense. I mean, it's uh, being connected, um, keeping investing time and energy in not only getting to know each other, but sustain over time the understanding that 
we have uh, and a company for the CMO and a CMO you know, for uh, the pharma company. Uh, again, that's a two uh, bidirectional relationship. Um, and uh, be sure again that you understand why you are working with these partners, these CMOs, um, and then be sure that you know here and there on a yearly or be yearly basis, you um, uh, re-evaluate your strategy, you re-evaluate your portfolio, and you look at an adjusted segmentation of your portfolio. I think this really helps to you know keep the pace high on how you manage your network and helps you to readjust over the time um, what needs to be readjusted and it, it pulls just you know the continuous improvement um, as you know quite naturally uh, so to say. Um, I have maybe more than one but um, I think one unique quality uh, for me that's the first time I have the opportunity to join such a conference here so uh, it's about connecting. I'm quite impressed by uh, the diversity um, of people being here um, and pretty impressed as well with you know, the engagement and the time that people invest in being here, speaking, but staying you know, with, with, with others and connecting. So for me, that's a real, real great opportunity to connect to uh, our peers within the industry, which is not something not easy to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, of course, we have a lot of connections with our CMOs on a daily basis, but connecting with other uh, pieces in the industry is, is, is really, for me, the number one uh, key um, uh, takeaway from, from, from these two days here in Berlin. Excited? <laughs> Looking forward for the next opportunity to come here, uh, really. Uh, I really mean it. Um, yeah, I, I have a, a lot of, uh, you know, good talk with people. Um, presentations were of a high quality uh, standard as well. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, when, when, when being back at, uh, at work in my company, I, I will be able to spread the words, you know, to my team and, and, and to my colleagues. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with the time that I have invested in, in coming here over this two days. So uh, thank you for this opportunity. Um, one, one thing that is pretty specific is the size of it, because I think it's, it's the right size. It's uh, not too small, not too big, um, because which, you know, when you have you know, big conferences with more than 1,000 people, it's really difficult to connect. So here it's pretty okay. I mean, you know, uh, it's easy to access to people. Um, uh, you facilitate that as well by you know, having the app and all the names uh, and you can easily see who is who um, within the conference room, so that's easy, easy, easy to do. Um, I think you're balancing well the agenda as well, you know, with having a good mix of presentation and then um, time for the networking discussion, etc. On, on day one, it seems to be, you know, a pretty long break, but, you know, <laughs> After the first break, we say, okay, in, in fact, that may be even too short, you know, we want more of that. Um, uh, but yeah, globally speaking, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty well, uh, well designed. Uh, and also you bring a good variety of uh, speakers into, uh, into these two days in the agenda, um, which makes um, the listening uh, pretty, um, pretty easy to do. Um, yeah, and, and it's pretty extens uh, intensive, you know, you know, at the end of the first day I was kind of exhausted. So it means that, you know, you know, it, 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 uh, we, we have to use our brain. So it's, it's, it's good.